and I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel and today is Sunday July 18th 2021 and we are looking at rainfall totals for the last three days check this out in the Colorado Basin they got some rain they got some rain in down by Vegas it has been good and check this out up here especially seven inches of rain right there in the Colorado River system 10 inches of rain we don't need this much rain all at once but any rain is a blessing especially because all this flows into the Colorado River this is fantastic news you got some rain up here in the last three days not a whole lot but every inch of rain they get is good especially down here Flagstaff all that water goes to the Colorado you got five inches of rain and I bet you any money I haven't checked the water levels yet but whenever I do I'm almost sure the water levels at Lake Mead have rose some we'll see there's a hurricane out here that's pumping a lot of moisture up into the Colorado Basin and we are going to check this out this is a dang good situation finally for the whole Colorado system let's hope this continues we will see we're going to go to windy.com right now and see what the next 10 days has in store for the Colorado River system okay so we are out west the next 12 hours is going to be kind of spotty but spotty is better than nothing getting a almost a half inch there just to the west of flagstaff three tenths of an inch four tenths of an inch there we're gonna go the next 24 hours not a whole lot more we're gonna go the next three days check that out getting some more rain and then we're gonna go the next five this is what i want to talk to you about next five hopefully this is pretty accurate 1.66 inches 1.65 maybe just maybe i mean here's a thought the guy did say they were going to cloud seed from lake mead they were looking into it are they cloud seeding is this what's going on there is a hurricane out here that's pumping this like a category four that's pumping a lot of moisture right up through mexico and into arizona a little bit nevada utah new mexico and colorado especially to the west of the divide and the west of the divide generally means it's going to the colorado river for the most part for the next 10 days and look at that that is a nice widespread like we've been talking like we've been hoping for four inches of rain there this is fantastic news unfortunately though Washington Oregon and California we're getting a little bit of here the Sierras not a whole lot 1.5 but all this right here look at this three plus inches that's going to help is it going to put a big dent in it time will tell we'll be doing be doing update every Sunday every Wednesday we'll be checking these levels until the level gets to a safe level and then we'll back it off like I used to do these every six months but lately I've been doing them twice a week while the levels continue to drop so good news there let's go check out the water levels at Lake Powell and Lake Mead here we are at Lake Mead's water level you can see right here that the water level is 1067.97 and this was Sunday July 18, 2021, 11 a.m. The level is 161.03 feet below full pool of 1,229 feet. You can see right here that the level has finally started to rise just a bit. Doesn't mean a whole lot, but it does mean something because the new low record of all time is 1,067.76 July 15th. As you can see, this is probably the end of the droppage until later in November before it starts to rise if you look at these numbers right here it dips just a little bit more so if this monsoons continue like they're predicted this might be the new low record of 1067.76 feet so we will see if that holds steady and see if that holds to pass the levels are starting to rise so that's good news for a change instead of me just being always the levels are dropping the levels are dropping and they are going to conserve water so we'll see what happens we'll see if it continues to rise we'll see if there's big bumps you can see like right up here that there's some rises and falls and stuff throughout the summer as we start to get into that season and we'll be watching that watching that very closely so let's go check Lake Powell's water level next Lake Powell water level the water level at Lake Powell is 3,556.46 feet MSL Saturday, July 17, 2021, 12 a.m. The level is 
143.54 feet below full pool of 3,700 and it has fallen 0.26 feet so it continues to drop this was taken yesterday at 12 a.m so we'll be watching that as well i'm leaving this link below the officials pull emergency lever as lake powell plunges towards dangerous new levels the west second largest reservoir could be at risk of losing the ability to generate power as officials rush to fill it so they decided they are going to increase the levels for a week from july 16th to july 23rd they will increase the water levels to 50 cubic feet 1.4 cubic meters per second every day and will last until july 23rd so for one week they're going to be releasing an extra 50 cubic feet per second from the flaming gorge upstream of lake powell will this help sure it's going to help some how much will this help i don't know but the rains are definitely going to help no matter how you look at it any precipitation is better than no precipitation i know they mainly rely on the snowfall and finally, I'm going to be talking about the Delta Smelt. Yes, the Delta Smelt in California. The Delta Smelt is this tiny little minnow. It is three to five centimeters long and it takes billions and trillions of gallons of water to maintain it. Now, water coming from Lake Oroville does. They have to release water to continuously give this freshwater minnow is close to being endangered but not endangered. Fresh water and it just dumps right into the ocean. And your farmers are upset because they are dumping water right into the ocean so they're not able to save their almond trees and and the rice fields and alfalfa and all those things that need irrigation and the irrigation comes from lake shasta lake orville Folsom, different places like that that all end up in the ocean because they have to produce water for the delta smelt the best solution i've heard was jerry brown said they were going to dig pipelines and basically pump water back and forth they pump it up it flows back down they pump it back up they, it's a continuous cycle who was going to pay for that probably californians probably a little better of a solution than a high-speed rail in my opinion of course jerry brown wasn't re-elected and then the next administration had no interest in doing that whatsoever as far as the delta smelt goes there is the problem with california they have to keep these fish alive because they continue to win lawsuits after lawsuits after lawsuits these environmentalists take all these people to court and they they lose every time like the they beat the farmer every time because they believe that the delta smelt is valuable why is the delta smelt population declining because somebody introduced striped bass and bass into the watershed and therefore they continue to eat those minnows and that's where all the delta smelt are going they're getting ate up so crazy as it may sound the problem was when you introduce those non-native species into a foreign waterway this is what happens kind of like what happened with the asian carp in the mississippi river if you guys have an opinion on the delta smell please leave it down below let's be civil let's not hate and that's all i have for tonight god bless